Seems like we're going to be having a very noisy guest in this video. Hey guys, it's Snipesy and welcome back to another Sonic Forces video. I bet you guys weren't expecting that. Also, I have a nice little guest with me today. It's my lovely little dog Hugo and he's just chilling out. Very docile looking right there. I have decided to revisit the custom character format for this video because I have actually found some really cool designs that I would like to show you guys. As you can tell in the thumbnail, I'm going to be making some characters that are created from another person who is known as Nybrock Rock, I believe. He is also known as The Sonic Renderer. His designs on 3D Sonic Renders is so, so good. The quality is like unreal it's so good and as i was looking through his gallery on the creations that he did i noticed that he designed some custom hero characters for sonic forces also if you would like to see more designs that are from nybrock rock i will go ahead and leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and see all of his artwork on his gallery on deviant art so if you guys are hyped for a new sonic forces video don't forget to go ahead and leave it a like and now guys, let's go ahead and create the first character. Okay guys, we are going to be making our first character, which is going to be called Grey the Rabbit. So, let's go ahead and press New Avatar. And by the way guys, I'm going to be looking at the design of the character whilst I'm creating it, since I decided to go ahead and make it live instead of last time where it was all pre-recorded. So, let's go ahead and check out the image that you can see right now on the screen. You can go ahead and see the design of the character and I also have it on my phone as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and start off with this character and of course he is a male character which is a rabbit and head shape I believe it's yes it is type 3 and skin colour um, I'm not too sure it might be something close to the standard colour. Okay I'm noticing it's a bit more of a sort of peach colour. So, I'd say something along the lines of this, maybe? That looks like a really good colour to start with. So, for the eye shape, I want the one that uh, is sort of like curved. I think it's that one, right? Yes, I think it is that one. And now we have sort of like dark purplish eyes with a little hint of white inside. So, I think that is spot on, actually. If I compare them with the rest. Yeah, I think that is definitely the closest colour we're going to get. Not too sure about the skin colour right now. I think I'm, I'm going to go back to the skin colour. So, I want something a bit lighter, I think. Or maybe something a bit more yellow. Let's try... Oh no, that's like a green, isn't it? No, that's not the colour I wanted. Oh my god. Apologies about that, guys. But Hugo was being a bit too noisy whilst he was storing. So I was like, nah, I'm not having that pick up on my microphone. So I've decided to go for the default skin colour, which is the yellowish sort of colour. And when I look at it compared to the design, I feel like it fits a lot more compared to the actual pinkish colour. But if you guys want to change it, then you are more than happy to do so whilst you're following through the video. Uh, I am going to be going for the standard body colour, which is full black. And now the voice. This is something that I'm not too sure about, but let's have a listen. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to go for type 3. I really like that voice for that guy because it reminds me a lot of Bane from Batman. Uh, so I think for the victory pose, that's actually quite a good one. And he does have studs on his, uh, on his gloves, so I don't know if that would be a bit too much. But to be fair, it does actually emulate the sort of attitude I want for this character. That's not, ba that's not a bad pose, to be fair. Type 7? I think I'm going to go ahead and go for Type 7, to be fair. And that looks great. We are all done with all of the colours for the character and the actual body layout. Now we're going to be moving on to the actual outfit. So we're going to be using something for the lower headgear, I believe, and we want the white looking hockey mask, which is this one. Very cool, that works really well, I like that. We could even go ahead and just give him those if you want to. Again, like I said before, you can go ahead and choose whichever colours that you like for this character. And now for the gloves, we are going to be using the blue and dark blue uh, gloves with the studs on them. 
which match very perfectly. Now the footwear, we're going to be using the sort of like grey sneakers, and I think they're around here somewhere. If I get to them in time, I've I've literally unlocked like every single uh, outfit, so yeah. It does take quite a while to uh, find all of the like accessories that I need for each character. But yeah, we've chosen the right footwear. Now we're going to be moving on to the rucksack, which is part of the body. And I believe it's a dark blue colour. So we are going to be using the rucksack when we find it, which is this one. Right, that's a perfect match. And he's got a small little tail. Oh, that's cute. So bodysuit. And it's something sort of similar to like body armor or maybe even like a, a skiing like bodysuit or something. That's the sort of vibes that I'm getting with it. And that is just what we need to complete this character. So now with the finishing touches guys, we're going to be giving him the correct wisp bomb in this design. Which is of course the cube hammer. Uh, cube ha yeah, I guess that is right really, a cube hammer, it works. So for the actual weapon, I kind of want to give him something that rewards him for taking out uh, enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this Wisp Bomb for this character which gives him a protective shield. He also has faster wire attacks and he has a bonus when he defeats enemies in a chain which will be very helpful for when he's taking out those nasty enemies with his hammer. So guys that is very much all that we have left for this character and now we are going to be moving on to the next one. Alright guys, so moving on to the next character, we have Spike the Cat. So I believe this character is a male, so that looks all about right, and we want the Type 1 ears, which has the nice little spikes on the back of his hair as well. For the skin colour, we want something that is very light brown. Something sort of like this. I do actually like this colour to be fair, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. But again guys you can choose whichever colour that you prefer. So now for the eye shape we want the same sort of eye shape, eye shape as the previous character where it has the separation in the middle. Almost like it's a accurate and like hum uh, humanistic, realistic sort of approach for this character. So for the eye colour I think I'm going to use the indigo blue which works really well for the eye so let's go ahead and select that. And for the body colour, we want the dark brown colour, which is this one. And now we are going to be choosing the voice for this character. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and give him type 2. I don't really want to give him the same voice as the previous character because that would be a tiny bit odd. So let's see which pose I like the most. That one's actually quite a good one. Uh, I've already used that for my own OC, but it, I don't know, I'm not sure about that one. That one's not too bad. That was quite a good one to be fair. Oh, that's a cool one. I really like that. That's really cool. Ah, uh, and that's the one, I think that was the one that we used for the female cat for the promo avatars, didn't we? Okay, that's a cool one. I really like that because he has like the teeth showing there. That's really cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this one. That looks great, and now we're going to be moving on to the actual outfit. So to start off with, we have something on the upper headgear this time, which I believe is the yellow looking goggles, the same sort of goggles that the character uses, the bird character for the promo avatars. So it is this one, yep that works really well. And now for the mid headgear I believe it is, we have the... Um, what, it, what is it, like the earphone thing, uh, ear microphone, whatever they're called, I completely forgot what they're called. Oh, it's not actually this one, oh, okay. So, uh, on the lower gear, I believe then, it is this one. Yes, that works very well. So now we're going to be moving on to the yellow gloves, which are fingerless, of course. So for the footwear, we have a yellow, white and black trainer, almost like running shoes to be fair. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find those, wherever they may be. I'm not too sure where they are because I have too much stuff. Well, I have unlocked everything, so there you go. Oh, there we go. That's the ones I wanted. Perfect. Okay, so moving on to the body. I believe he's wearing some sort of uh, strap or even like a bag. 
because it has like a, a sort of like black and yellow stripe going down the middle and it's almost like it's going uh, across the chest so I need to see if I can find if there is anything similar no it's definitely not a backpack is it this ah I think that is right as you can see it's got like the black sort of design on the strap I think that one works well so I think I will stick with this one now moving on to the bodysuit I believe it may just be a standard uh, black sort of uh, bodysuit or it could even be this one actually now that I look at it because it has like a yellow sort of like stripe uh, strap going around the chest like a, a cross even that's what I was trying to say jeez but yeah now that I look at the rest I think that one pretty much outdoes all the other ones it must be the like most accurate one so i think that pretty much finishes it for the outfit now that i look at the design yeah that's perfect and now we're going to be moving on to the wisp bomb which is of course the lightning wisp bomb and which one am i gonna go for i think something that is very sort of like quick maybe i think for this character i'm going to go ahead and give him this wisp bomb which increases his speed when he collects rings he also gets a bonus of rings when he defeats enemies and he also has an extended sliding difference a uh, distance even so that is pretty much the final design for spike the cat and now we're going to be moving on to the final character. Okay, so for the final character, and as you can tell, it's a very sort of amusing looking character in a way. And we are going to be making a male dog who is called Porter the Super Dog. So let's go ahead and choose the species as a dog. And we want the floppy ears right there, almost like a rabbit sort of ear. And for the colour, um, oh, this is the skin colour, I completely forgot about that. I think I'm gonna go for this colour, I think. I think that one's very accurate. So let's go for that one. And for the eye shape, we want the very bold, circular looking eyes. Not those, but these ones. Because I'm sure Porto has seen a lot of crazy stuff right there. I mean, he's seen stuff, right? So I think for the eye colour, it may be a sort of. Oh gosh, that's very scary now that you look at it. I think it it's um, the darkest colour now that I look at it or it could even be this one I actually yeah I do prefer this colour for the eye colour so again you guys can choose whichever colour you want and for the body colour it is a very sort of like dullish like blue colour or like a dull blue a dull purple even that's actually quite a close colour that I'm looking at there. Okay, these colours are a bit crazy. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this body colour, which is the darker blue, so let's go ahead and select that. And for the voice... Yeah, I think that pretty much solidifies my choice for uh, voice one for this character, of course. So, for the victory pose, I'm not too sure about this one. So, I think I'll just scroll through and see which one I like. That was actually quite a good one, very fancy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for type 9 now that I've just gone through all of them because I was just scrolling through thinking which one would be the best fitting one and it was quite a tough choice to be fair. So for this character, the actual outfit is not really that hard necessarily. As long as you have the correct outfit for this character. Oh gosh, that, <laughs> that's not what I wanted, but you could always do that to cover up his mouth if you really want to, but wow. Uh, I think... For the gloves let's go ahead and do the dark green gloves right there and now we're going to be moving on to the footwear which are the exact same design but for the boots of course and now i believe the final touch is the scarf ah there we go which is this one and of course as you can tell in the actual design we can't actually give our characters white wristbands because they're not actually a weapon that are playable in this game it's only something that makes an appearance through cutscenes with other characters in this game so I feel like I'm going to give this character a weapon I haven't necessarily given to someone else so I could give him the purple weapon which is this one so that's what it looks like right here or I could go ahead and give him this weapon right here, which is green, of course. For this character, I'm going to be using the Asteroid Wisp Bomb, which does sort of act very similar to the White Wisp Bomb weapon. 
since it's a bit like a standard pistol where it singles fire shots just like this weapon. And for the actual variant, I'm not actually sure which effect I should give this character. So for this character, I'm going to go for something a bit different, which is going to be this one. Even though it only has two effects, I feel like it would work really well for this character. So we have an increase in grinding speed, and we can also stop at a dime. Um, when I look at this character, I don't necessarily feel like he'd be a fast character. I know that's just my opinion, but you guys can also go with whatever design you feel like would work for this character, whichever effect would work. But that is pretty much the final character done. And before I end off this video guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what these characters are like in action. So, let's see some gameplay of these new avatars. Okay guys, so for the first stage, I'm going to be playing as Grey the Rabbit at Aqua Road. So, let's see how well we do in the gameplay for this character. So here we are guys, and we, ha we have our shield prompt there. Let's go through the shortcut and see how well we do. It's been quite a while since I last played through this game, so inside I'm quite hyped to be playing this game once again. Oh gosh. And uh, just as a side note, I have collected everything in this stage, so I'll just be like picking those up as they come through my way. And this character is going to be very good for defeating a lot of enemies that are in our path. Especially in like a big group because that will allow us to gain more points. And I decided to give this guy a shield since I feel like he has a sort of like cyborg feel to him. Even though, you know, he doesn't have like an eye patch or anything like that necessarily. But I feel like he emulates that style very well. And there we are straight away. Just in with the hammer like boom, boom, and then boom. Oh, that was a bit too far. <laughs> There we go, and we can also run through them as well so we can get some rings. Very nice, okay. Um, I don't know if these are us, are they? No, they are not. So we can just destroy everyone, like so. Boom, awesome, and we are getting a lot of points for that. And there we go. So can I hit these guys? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Let's not do it, guys, let's avoid it. Oh, no, nice. so I have the cube ability. So I could use it over here if I have any trouble. That'd be a good shout. So let's go through here. Avoid those things. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Nice. So guys, we have just finished the stage for this character. He has a very nice feel to him. Like, he doesn't feel too slow with the hammer. But I don't know, that might just be because I haven't played this game in a long time. But there we are, an S rank. Very cool. So yeah, I really like the feel of that character. And I like the style. He has a very cool style about this character. But yeah. Now guys, let's move on to the next stage with Spike the Cat. Alright, so for Spike the Cat, I'm going to be playing in Capital City Metropolis. So let's see how we do with this character. Alright, here we are. Let's start. Alright, a very nice entrance there. So this guy gets more rings when he hits into enemies. And he also has an extended slide. And he gets a bit of a speed up when he collects rings, which is very nice. So that will work very well with the lightning rods thing there. Um, the lightning wisp on even. It is sort of like a rod in a way. And there is uh, infinite, of course. That evil dude that we took out already, but still pretty cool to be fair. But yeah, I decided to go for this stage because it has a very sort of like, you know, futuristic feel to this stage. And I feel like that matches this character very nicely with like his gear and headset and whatnot. So I was like, yeah, let's go for it. And that was very good. There we are. And now let's use the lightning ability once again. So yeah, this guy is very good for like, oh gosh, for getting through enemies at a very fast pace. And oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> at the last second there, got hit by a beam. How dare they? So let's go through here and avoid the gaps very nicely. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I just made it, nice. Okay, so he's bending gravity once again. Oh jeez, it's like I'm playing Sonic Riders Zero Gravity again. <laughs> okay, so let's go through this way. Oh, I could have gone through that thing, couldn't I? Oh no, it's fine, it's automatic. Alright, cool. And this way, oh gosh, nearly got uh, taken out there. That wasn't good. Alright, let's go through this. Oh gosh. 
There you go. Oh! Oh gosh, oh gosh, I nearly died. How am I gonna do this? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go through the standard way because I think I messed up that thing over there. Which is fine, it's fine. So let's go through here and take out these guys with our lightning <laughs> pump. As we were like, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, there we go. So we are coming up to the end right here. Oh my god. All dead. Nice. Sick. All right. So yeah, that guy's a very speedy character, which I really like, compared to uh, Gray. And he has a very nice design there. And I feel like his design is probably not the most accurate, but it's still pretty cool. I feel like the first design is really, like, accurate. I really like that one. No Break Rock has made these characters based off, you know, the elements from this game. But yeah, that was a very good run, guys. And now we're going to be moving on to the final character. So guys, on to the final stage with our final character at Green Hill Zone, Guardian Rock. So let's see how well we do. Alright, here we are guys, and we have those creepy uh, rocks following us, of course. A bit like we're an infinite minion because we do have that creepy looking face, so I'm really happy with that. Okay, so let's uh, avoid these. And the great thing about this stage is, like, we can just stop and we will immediately stop in our spot, which is really good for, like, making sure that we don't hit into those uh, legs from that spider. Oh, it's a crab! It's a crab, not a spider! I apologise guys because I had a moment where I was like, oh it's a spider, no it's not, it's a crab. <laughs> it's a crab guys, I know that. So let's wait for this to go down, there we go, and then we can go through here, and wait for that to go up, and boom, onto the top level. And there's the crab, see it's a crab guys, it's walking sideways. Oh, oh, oh dear, I didn't avoid that too well, but we can just uh, shoot these people, robots even. Alright, let's keep on going, and this way, shoot them all! Yeah, I think that w this works really well with the, um, you know, the idea that he's using a white wisp on, even though they're not in this game, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, he's very good at, like, just stopping in the spot. Very helpful for avoiding the legs there for the crab. Oh, oh, hang on. Wait for them to pass. And, oh, there we go. Nice, perfect. And these guys, take them out. Cha! Right, awesome. And over here. Perfect, okay. Is there any more? Oh, oh, I missed that though. Oh, don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Okay, he's gone. Of course he wasn't going to hit me. Right, there we go. I think that's the final bit there. And now we're just on to the section with the crab. Here he is. Hello, Mr. Krabby. Robot Krabby. <laughs> he does kind of look a bit similar to a Krabby from Pokemon. Oh, look at that face. See, his eyes aren't that creepy now. He's like focused. He's like, okay, I need to not die here. I need to make sure that I'm focused so I don't let down Sonic and the gang. Okay, avoid that. Where's the next one? There it is. That one. Avoid. Oh gosh. Oh! Oh dear, I just completely avoided that. Oh, a bit too soon, that's fine. And there we are. Just wrap around his legs so that we can take him out. Awesome! <laughs> nice one. Nice one, Porter. <laughs> so yeah, this guy is, um, he's not too bad to be fair, even though he has like two abilities. I wasn't able to use the grinding speed, but I was like, hey, I want to give him uh, the ability to stop on the dime, but I didn't want him to be uh, too fast. But yeah, that was pretty good there. So that's pretty much it for that stage, guys. So let's go ahead and exit as we count up our awesome score of a rank S. Awesome. So guys, I hope this video has helped you with creating these characters that I've showed off in this video and as well a big thank you to Nybrock Rock for these awesome awesome characters that he has made and they are really cool to play in the game. I highly recommend that you go ahead and recreate them for yourselves guys. If you would like to see some more custom heroes for this game, go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. Share this video with your friends or your family if you think that they will enjoy this video or if you want them to check out how they can make these awesome characters in this game. Don't forget to subscribe 
subscribe if you're new to the channel it really helps me out guys i really appreciate it hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever i upload a single video on my channel so guys thank you so much for tuning in i really hope that you have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video of whatever i make next until then guys see ya <laughs>